I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in late on this Sunday, October 8th of 2017. It's been a chilly start to the day, granted, but we were treated with a nice and warm afternoon, warmer than normal, but if you made for great outdoor plans, we'll definitely take it. We'll have another warm day tomorrow before some rain chances try to mix things up a little bit as we go throughout the forecast period ahead of us. The view from 7th and Range Line, though, quiet on a Sunday night. Low of 52, so yes, chilly to start this morning. Close to our average low of 51, but above our average high of 74 today with today's afternoon high officially at the airport of 81. Outlying areas with a little bit of patchy fog here or there. Regardless of that, everybody had a chilly start this morning. Most spots lower to middle 50s. And sure enough, a few outlying areas like Stockton Lake and parts of northeast Oklahoma near Nawada and Bartlesville starting in the upper 40s this morning. But everybody rebounded nicely. Upper 70s and lower 80s this afternoon. And last check of temperatures we had a few minutes after 11 o'clock had most spots mainly in the upper 50s to near 60 degrees so we are set for another chilly night around here the skywise storm tracker is staying quiet once again as we continue through the overnight hours granted we could see a little bit of patchy fog here and there again tonight in general though we'll keep the skies quiet and that applies for the entire four state region overall quiet to start the day and we're staying quiet going into the overnight the remnants of what once was Hurricane and Tropical Storm Nate, it's barely even a depression anymore, the remnants of it you can see resulting in rain stretching from Alabama and Georgia and working all the way up the Appalachian Mountain Range up to the Great Lakes around, uh, let's say, Cleveland and before it works up to Lake Erie. That will not be an issue for us. We have to pan back to the west to see some upper elevation snow in the Rockies from just north of Denver into Wyoming and then it turns back over to rain in parts of South Dakota. That's actually part of our next cold front that's waiting in the wings and behind that cold front a good little punch of fall air will be working back in. We just need to get the front through first before we can get a nice little cool down to work in here. Looking at the future track as we go through the rest of the night into tomorrow morning looking quiet to start the day out at the very least it will be chilly but we'll be quick to warm up before the front starts to work in monday afternoon there is a slim chance on the kansas and oklahoma side we could see a few pop-up thunderstorms as more moisture starts to pool along the cold front as it works on through in general though most of us should stay dry for the majority of our monday it won't be until monday evening and going into monday night and tuesday morning that's when we'll see better rain and some thunderstorm chances work on through keep an eye on those temperatures though it kind of has the right idea this run of the future track will be starting early tuesday morning with highs in the upper 60s in fact maybe middle to upper 60s and that is as warm as we will be as we go throughout your tuesday because once we get on the back side of this front that's when the wind will switch out of the north and northwest that brings the cooler air in here and we'll be lucky if we can rebound into the middle if not upper 50s for tuesday afternoon so yeah we are definitely getting a good punch of fall air that could drop us back into the 40s Wednesday morning. So that's going to be one of our coolest starts of the season so far. And then look at Wednesday afternoon. Not looking bad, partly the mostly sunny. And the future track there has the right idea with afternoon highs looking to top out in the lower to middle 60s. Before we get that nice little punch of fall air to work in, we are chilly again tonight with overnight lows starting in the middle 50s overall. And then... Quick to warm up again as we go into the afternoon tomorrow before those better rain chances and the cloud cover work in. Let's say 55 in the morning, 80 by noon, and then afternoon highs right around 85 degrees again. Maybe a spot storm or two on the Kansas and Oklahoma side, but as we advance through time, there's 7 o'clock Monday evening, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock around there, and then midnight taking us into Tuesday morning. That is when those better rain chances work on through again. Tuesday is going to be a day with early morning highs around 68 and then dropping temperatures through the day. We should be in the mid-50s Tuesday afternoon. Then 44 Wednesday morning, highs rebounded 63. 
It's a quick little blast of fall air because we are back to 77 on Thursday, mid-80s for this coming Friday and Saturday. And we'll see if we can get another system in here by next Sunday that could result in some rain chances and maybe another good little cool down on the way. Have a good night. Have a great Monday.